All right, guys, I'm here at the uh, Palmyra Nature Cove in Palmyra, New Jersey. Uh, by request, uh, Scotty. Scotty requested that I come out here and uh, check up on these palms. So, no day like a nice day to come out here. There's a lot of people out here today. Sunny, kind of breezy day. Got my temperature sensor out. Some reason it's not working. Well, anyway. Got our first palm here, first tricky. It's a small one. It's about, uh, say, four feet, five feet tall, four feet tall. Looks pretty good. See that there's uh, a lot of snow damage. A lot of breakage on the limbs here. Now, this is the difference between a, uh, the business owners that we have around here that uh, have planted trachees and someone that actually knows what they're doing. Steve planted these trachees here against uh, right up against the wall as you can see and it's south facing so you got a lot of sun that comes down directly on this wall and gives them a lot of good heat. Here we have a big sable miner Nice huge sable mine. I can't wait for mine to get this big. You see my hand here. Stripper's huge. Move this tricky fine. All right. So right next to the sable miner, we have this tricky here. Uh, they look pretty good for uh, having gone through the winter. Like they're in good condition here, much better than the ones that I had showed you. That that's the difference between uh, putting them in a good microclimate. And I don't understand what's wrong with this temperature sensor. Whatever. Okay, here's another one. Nice big trunk in there. This one's probably the biggest one of them all. These are blowing in the wind here. These are probably about uh, 10 feet tall now. There's another one. And this big sable miner. I don't know what happened here this leaf there but the rest of the palm looks healthy huge huge fine on that oh it's actually got some boots coming up I don't know if you can see that in there you see that boot boots are coming up on there it's actually forming a trunk they must love the heat in the summertime here this this frond looks kind of beat up here but the crown is looking good. The growing point. Another miner here. This one is also coming up with a trunk. A little bug growing all right there. Another smaller trachea. And another minor. Looking good. And one more small trachea here. Also looking good. And I got some people fishing here on the Delaware River. 
about 62 degrees out here right now. I tried to bring a thermometer to, so I could document it. What the heck happened here? This looks like... It looks like animal damage here. The deers or something. Because this is, a, this is a needle. There's no way it should look like this. Yeah, that definitely looks like the deer. Or right next to a nature preserve. The deer came in here and they... They went to town on these bad boys here. Jeez. Yeah. See, we don't have that problem in my house. Deers don't just walk up in my front yard, but right here. See, the nature preserve is back there. I'm sure that's a problem, but good thing these trickies are... Actually, they might be suffering from the same thing. It's just as they get taller and taller, they'll be less, I guess, susceptible to that, too. But this one, I love this one. This one's huge. I wish I could plant, I'll plant this thing and bring it home with me. And this one too. They're almost as tall as the roof now. Let's see, this thing's... Alright, I'm going to show you the, uh, the alcove next. The ones that are protected in the alcove. But here are the uh, the ones up against the southeastern wall. It's all about location in New Jersey. You can't just plant a tricky out in the open here, unfortunately. But if you find a nice microclimate up against the south-facing wall, they will grow here. And they look pretty good. Can't wait for them to get up over top of that thing right there, over top of the building. The miners look really good, too. Huge miners. But... Alright.